This video is about interphase of cell division. Um, interphase has three main parts. There's G1 phase, there's S phase, and then there's G2 phase. What we'll do is spend some time going through each of these individual parts and talking about what's happening. To make it simple though, uh, G1 is just a period of growth. S phase is when DNA is being copied. And then G2 is another period of growth and then the cell checks the DNA. So uh, during G2, or uh, G1 phase rather, it's the very beginning of interphase. The cell's growing. Uh, there are some other things that are going on here. Some of the organelles are being copied, which is important because the new cell is going to need a new copy of each of the individual organelles. Another thing that's happening is that the cytoplasm is gathering nutrients. So this way the new cell uh, will already have like nutrients and things inside of it when the cell divides. So certain things that are copying here as far as the organelles go would be things like the Golgi apparatus, uh, the endoplasmic reticulum, the mitochondria, the ribosomes, all of those things need to be ready to go in order to be provided for that new cell. Uh, during our next phase, which is S phase, this one stands for synthesis phase. To synthesize something is to make something. So the thing that's being synthesized here is DNA. So the cell's making a perfect copy of the older section of DNA. This new section is going to be what's passed on to the new cell. The key thing with this one is that you cannot see this happening. Uh, so the nucleus looks the same. It cannot be seen, but it's something that's definitely going on because otherwise the new cell would never have any DNA. It wouldn't be able to survive. The last one is G2 phase. This, in some ways, is the most important one. It is another period of growth, and there are some organelles that are copied here But the most important thing that happens is the DNA is checked. The reason I say this is the most important is if there are mistakes passed on in the DNA, that could lead to a mutation in the new cell. The new cell could die, it could become cancerous, all kinds of things could happen if a mutation is passed on. Now there is a chance that the mutation couldn't affect anything. Uh, we'll get to this stuff at the end of the chapter. We'll talk about like the three different things that can result from a mutation. But for the most part, they're bad things that the cell tries to avoid. Uh, most of your mutated cells are actually identified and destroyed by your immune system. But still, it's something that's very important that happens during this phase. The last thing to talk about here when it comes to the different groups of interphase. Remember, when we're looking at cells under the microscope, you cannot tell the difference between G1, S, and G2 phase. That's why all of these things are lumped together under interphase. When we get to the different parts of mitosis, like prophase, metaphase, those kinds of things, they all look different. But uh, G1, S, and G2 all look exactly the same. You can't tell which phase a cell is in just by looking at it under the microscope. So that's why like interphase has these three different subparts. There's different things that are happening at each time, but you can't tell which part the cell's in just by looking at it. As always, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in class.